In this screencast, we will demonstrate how to use SharePoint workflow to take an image that is uploaded to a pictures library and import that to a user MySites profile. You can imagine this scenario where an HR department has a library where it stores photos of all employees and they want to synchronize that photo to the MySites profile when a new employee joins the company. We start with a pictures library called Staff Photos and we first need to modify the library to add a column to store the network username for the employee so that the image will be associated to the user. This step is necessary because the MySites profile is identified by the user's network account. You can see on my MySites page that the default picture is displayed and after our workflow completes we will want this picture to be set with the one we upload. Because we are interacting with the user profile, we cannot use SharePoint Designer to create this workflow. Instead, we'll use Visual Studio and create a new sequential workflow project. We'll create the project and name it Update User Profile Photo. In the SharePoint customization wizard, we'll indicate that this is a list type workflow and then select the staff photos library to be the target for debugging and deploying from Visual Studio. Finally, we indicate that we want the workflow to run on both the creation and updating of a list item. Since SharePoint Workflow is based upon Windows Workflow Foundation, in the toolbox we have a wide assortment of activities available to us. However, for our purposes, we just need to use the code activity, so we will select that and drag it onto the Workflow Canvas. The alert on the activity lets us know we need to set the Execute Code property, and we do that by providing the name of the method that will be called by the workflow engine. In order for this workflow to get access to the user profile record, we need to add two references to our project, Microsoft Office Server and Microsoft Office Server User Profiles. Make sure that you select version 14, which indicates that they are for the SharePoint 2010 environment. We also need to add a reference to system.web so that the workflow will have access to the HTTP context of the SharePoint site. To edit our code, we'll first add using statements for the assemblies we just referenced. Then we'll add our code to the update user profile method. The first thing our code will do is retrieve the username property on the item upon which the workflow is running. Since this is a person or group column, we need to use the SP field user and SP field user value objects to extract the user object. We then check to ensure there's a value, since if we do not have a username, we cannot retrieve the user profile. We will then attach to the user profile service application and use the username to retrieve the user profile record. The picture URL property stores the pointer to the profile photo. And so we will set that to the encoded absolute URL of the image item, which is a fully qualified URL. Finally, we'll save the profile changes. If anything fails during the process, our exception handler will log the exception to the SharePoint log for debugging purposes. We'll ensure a clean build of our project, and then deploy the workflow to the staff photos library.
Before we can test our workflow, there is one important step necessary to ensure that the application pool service account has adequate rights to modify the user profile data. We'll check this in central administration by viewing the service applications list, then selecting the user profile service application. We check in the permissions dialog and make sure that our service account for the web application has full control. And we also check in the administrators dialog again to make sure our service application has been added as an administrator with full control. To test our workflow, we'll upload a new image to the staff photos library. In the metadata dialog, we'll select the employee's network user account. We must check in the item in order for workflow to run. By selecting the item, we can view its workflow history. We see that the update user profile photo workflow has successfully completed. Our final check is to view the MySites page and refresh it to confirm that the image is displayed. Hi there, this is Derek Smith. I hope this screencast was helpful for you. You can find other screencasts and articles on my blog, www.codeovereasy.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, at SmithDerekM. Thanks again for stopping by. We hope to see you again soon.